Hey there, thanks for tuning in to our video. My name is Chris Nelson with Headlight Revolution. In this video, I'm gonna be showcasing the JW Speaker 6130 LED headlights. This is a really unique headlight because it actually doesn't have many applications that are direct drop-in. It's actually a four and a half inch round headlight. So you can see that uh, from the outside edge of the lens, you can see it's like exactly four and a half inches. And then the bezel around it makes it a little bit longer and the bracket that it comes with makes it even a wider diameter. So it's almost like it's designed specifically to be used in a universal application. You can see it's really deep. So from the mounting point, you're looking at about three inches deep. For this small of a headlight, it's not gonna fit your standard fog light application. It's really designed for a high beam and low beam kind of a function. So I've seen a lot of people use these in different types of motorcycles. They're extremely useful for some type of a custom car build, like a rat rod even, or kit car, something that you build in your garage. Uh, or if you just have a some kind of an, a unique vehicle and you want a correspondingly unique headlight, this is a really interesting setup. Now the one that has six LED projectors is your high beam, and this one that has three LED projectors is your low beam. Now unlike other LED headlights that are out there, this one actually requires a driver. It's kind of like a ballast for an HID. It sort of does the same thing. It, it powers the, the headlight. It creates the right amount of power so that the headlight works properly. And the reason that this has a driver and all the other JW Speaker products don't is because of how small the housing is and how powerful it is. Uh, so the JW Speaker fog light doesn't need a driver because it only uses three little LEDs with three little projectors and it doesn't put out as much light as these do. So it, this is designed to power the low beam on the gray plug and the high beam on the black plug. And then here's your universal input. You can get the matching connector or chop it off and wire your ground low and high or install it however you want. So first I'm gonna show you some close up characteristics of the lights. We're gonna talk about some specifications and then actually show you the beam pattern both inside our shop and on the road in real world applications. So don't go anywhere. So the first one I wanna show you is the four and a half inch round JW Speaker 6130 low beam. This one has a lot of similar characteristics to the six inch round 8630 and the seven inch round 8700 from JW Speaker. Except this one is notably smaller and there are a lot more sharp lines on the inside of the housing, the bezel that surrounds the different LEDs. It has two D-shaped projectors with one LED per projector on the outside and one regular round projector with a single LED in the middle. Now, right below the center projector, you can see a line of graded openings in the bezel behind the lens. And if you, if you look in there, you can actually see a, a fan. Now, that's a cooling fan to help this thing, but it's kind of awkward having that white fan sticker back there because you can definitely see it when you're looking at the headlight. Now, the only time anybody will see it is if they got their nose two inches from the headlight like some of my friends might. So most cases, you're not gonna notice it. When it's installed in your vehicle, it probably won't even be at the right angle for anybody to see a white sticker in there. However, a little criticism toward JW Speaker, it wouldn't take much for them to either remove that sticker, get a black sticker made, or put a black cover-up sticker over the white sticker. Aesthetically, that would help a lot. Now there's actually quite a bit of writing on the inside of this headlight. Right on this ridge below the main projector, it says DOT, VOR LED, which means it's DOT approved. VOR means you can adjust it visually. It uses an LED power source. It also says SAE, HL, and the number's 09. Now directly below that, under the grates on the bezel, it has the speaker logo for JW Speaker, the company who built it. Now on the inside lip, there's a lot more information. It says HC00, E11, 0156, 12 to 24 volt, 32 watt max. So there's a lot of describing information posted right on the inside of the headlight. If you flip it around, there's this great big white sticker that tells us the model number, the input voltage, 
and the data manufacturer. Model 6130, 12 to 24 volt. Low beam, the date of manufacturing was 5-10-2013 and made in the USA. If we inspect it further, you'll find that there is nothing else written on it, but there is what looks to be some kind of a moisture vent on this side. And on the back, you can see the die cast aluminum heat sink that the back of the housing is made into. If you look at the way the wiring works, you see kind of a proprietary plug uh, and it's really designed so that the only way that you can power it up is if you have the driver. If you just hook straight 12 volts up to it, you, it's not going to work right. So don't do that. You need the driver, otherwise these headlights won't do what you need them to do. Now on the inside of this one, we have an equally large amount of information posted. So we'll start with the top underneath that projector. It says DOT, VOR, LED, SAE, HL, 09 and right in between the two right in front of the fan is again the speaker logo now on the bottom lip of the front It's got all the same inscriptions as the low beam HR 00 E11 20 0158 12 to 24 volt 32 watt max backside you have your uh, moisture vent again And another sticker that says model 6130 12 to 24 High beam, date 5-24-13, made in USA. And again, no other information. You got your heat sink and the proprietary wiring connector, so you can only use it with the driver. So if you compare the two housings, in terms of styling, you can see that the 6130 low beam looks a lot more traditional to the other types of JW speaker LED headlights. And then the high beam is a really interesting style. It's something very creative. It, it kind of goes away from the traditional JW speaker design and that's one of the reasons I like it because you're not going to find anything else in the world that looks like this headlight. A lot of people say it kind of looks like a spider eye and I have to agree. Now the worst part about the high beam is again that big white sticker smack dab in the middle of the headlight. In spite of the sticker it's still a great headlight. It's extremely bright, it's very unique and if you want something that nobody else in your group or your circle of friends or your region even has, this is gonna be it. If you got a motorcycle with small headlights, you got a BMW or a Volkswagen, something with four smaller headlights on the front, or you got a custom vehicle, these would make an absolutely awesome, special and unique headlight that nobody else has. Now the way the ballast works, like I said, you got your input and your two outputs. So they only go in one way, that your black one goes to the high beam, and your gray one plugs into the low beam. And the way these work is, so you'd have one driver for both headlights, and so you'd have one high beam and one low beam on each side. And so when you power up the low beam, you get just the low beam. And when you power up the high beam, you get high and low. So on low beam, you got just the one headlight on, so that's 32 watts. And then on high beam, you get both of them. So now you have 32 watts on one, 32 watts on another. Therefore, low beam is 32 watts, and low and high, or your high beam, is gonna be 64 watts. This gives you a much better picture of the way the lights turn on and the construction of the light. You can really see each one of the projectors individually uh, to get a good idea of what's actually happening in there. As you can see, it's a very cool looking set of headlights. Nothing else is gonna look even close to how these look. It's a very unique product and one that I really think is cool. In terms of specifications, the lights are pretty impressive. To start, for the low beam, it draws two and a half amps at 12 volts DC and puts out 1,200 lumens. The high beam uses five and a half amps at 12 volts DC and puts out 2,400 lumens. So these are already way brighter than your stock headlights. The lens material is glass. The housing material is die-cast aluminum. They use rugged, solid-state LEDs, which can withstand shock and vibration. They meet FMVSS 108 standards compliance, and they're sealed to an IP67 waterproof rating. The low beam is going to go down the road somewhere between 300 and 400 feet, according to the JW speaker light output pattern. The high beam, on the other hand, 
will go well over 750 to 800 feet down the road. We're gonna start with the low beam to do a close-up example of what the beam pattern looks like. After I'm done showing you this, we're actually gonna bring it out into our test field and show you what it would look like in real world driving conditions. So my first impression is, yeah, it's a typical projector headlight output. But the thing that makes it better than a lot of LED headlights is that there's absolutely no shadowing whatsoever in the beam pattern. It's absolutely flawless. There's some different color bands that make up the broad overall color of the light. But in general, this is a great looking headlight. It's pretty wide, especially considering this is a single four and a half inch round light. If we move it off this way, we'll start on the far left side and go all the way to center and all the way to the far right side. So you can see what the entirety of the beam pattern looks like. You know, we're 20 feet away from the wall and it's a pretty massive beam pattern. So you can imagine what this would look like with two of them actually going down the road. Now you've got your really sharp cutoff line and then the part at the very center, the hot spot, kind of goes up and out to the right so that you're not gonna be blinding any oncoming traffic and get a lot of light in the ditch as you're driving on the right-hand side of the road. If you look at the bottom, it does get pretty yellow looking, but I don't think you're gonna notice that a whole lot, especially because the transition between the colors is extremely smooth. You can actually identify from red to almost like a violety white color from the very bottom to the middle, and that smooth transition without any shadows is gonna make this a really usable light output. Now the high beam on the other hand is completely different. Even with the low beam on, you can still see the distinct shape of the high beam. So the high beam is much brighter, but the beam pattern is much smaller. So it's a lot of light focused in a tight area. It's a really interesting shape. It kind of reminds me of the Air Force symbol with the big round portion in the middle and the rectangular portion that goes left to right. This will be an awesome addition to the low beam because it adds light in every way that the low beam doesn't. The low beam is very wide with a sharp cutoff. This thing has a really strong concentrated spot beam, which will give you a lot of distance down the road, which you'll be lacking when you're only using the low beam. So on this one, again, just like all the JW speaker products, it's beautifully engineered. You don't have any funky shapes or colors. It seems like the light is really only exactly where they wanted it to be. You've got some interesting colors out on the fringes, but that's to be expected with any high power projector headlight. Given that there are six individual LEDs, it's really interesting that JW Speaker was able to come up with this kind of a beam pattern out of that interesting combination of projectors. Really goes to show how well JW Speaker does what they do. Let's bring this out to our test field so you can see how these would perform if you're driving with them on the road at night. So we brought the 6130 out into our test range to show you kind of what it looks like in a real world application. So our yard signs on the right side go to 10 yards all the way up to 100 yards. And then the stop sign at the end of the street is an additional 100 yards. So the stop sign is about 600 feet away. You can see that the 6130 low beam doesn't quite reach all the way to the stop sign, but most headlights wouldn't. It does, however, do a pretty good job of reaching the 100 yard mark. The coloring looks really nice. You've got that typical yellow band really close to the vehicle down low on the pavement But then as the colors kind of go out and disperse they create this perfectly white light and it looks really great You can see with just one headlight We have light all the way from one side of the road to the other And so if you had two headlights, this would really be a fantastic setup for low beam Then we shut low beam off and just turn the high beam on so with the high beam it really does a very specific thing it has nothing to do with lighting up the ground directly from the vehicle it's all about a long distance high power really be able to see where you're going kind of a light this actually reminds me more of like an off-road light but it's the accompanying high beam for the 6130 setup. You can see it blows way past the stop sign at 200 yards. It even goes into the trees another 50 feet after that. And you can see that with the amount of light that's on the trees, it would probably go even further. Pretty safe to say that this headlight might go 700 feet or more down the road, but it's a very narrow beam pattern. You saw that when we shined it on the garage door. Uh, it's, it's kind of a strange shape, but it's very specifically designed to augment the low beam's lack of long distance driving. So then when we put them together, you can really see how awesome this combo is. The low beam 
floods the foreground of your driving area and the high beam shines way down the road so you can see everything. These two lights together, the low beam plus the high beam, are an awesome pair because what you're seeing right here is one of the best beam patterns for a high and low beam setup you're ever going to find. You can see there's no lack of light in the foreground, there's no lack of light down the road, you've got left to right, way up high, way down low, down the road, everything's covered. So this is one of my favorite, most unique LED headlights that JW Speaker makes. It's unfortunate that it doesn't fit more vehicles, uh, but if you have some kind of a custom job, these would be awesome for your project. You need to get two headlights for every driver, and most vehicles would use two sets of everything. So four headlights total, two low beam, two high, and two drivers. If this is something that you're interested in, visit us on the website. You can find these for sale or contact us for more information, www.headlightrevolution.com. And if you want to see some more interesting headlights and other lighting products, please subscribe to our channel to see what we come out with next.